what am I, I was thinking this morning, and as I was heading to church, that there are things that uh, pastors do besides just preach. And one thing we do is we dedicate babies. And I love that, and I especially love it when they're my grandbabies. And so just a couple of weeks ago, we dedicated uh, Amelia, and uh, today we're going to be dedicating Mavi. Before they come, you all have been so gracious and asked them to check in on Mavi with her sickness, and uh, God has just really touched her. It was a uh, certainly a move of God, a touch of God on her body that raised her up and turned her around, and we are grateful for your prayers and grateful for your concern and, and thankful for loving our family. So, uh, Rosebud, I want you and your husband bring your children up and listen honor this beautiful baby girl. This is my family. Pretty good looking by, Charlie. Yeah. Pretty good looking by. says a lot about parenting and about raising children. And we dedicate children to the Lord because parents understand that children are a gift from God and that we give them back to the service of God. Whatever God wills for them, we accept and we support that whatever God wants to do, call them to preach, call them to be missionaries, uh, call them to teach Sunday school, whatever it might be, we support the work of God in their life. The Lord said this about Abram. He said, I, and the Lord said that I know Abraham, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment. Then the Bible tells us the story of Hannah, who prayed for a son, and God answered the prayer, and she said, as she bare a son, and she called his name Samuel. And she brought him into the house of the Lord in Shiloh to Eli the priest. And she said, For this child I pray, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I ask of him. Therefore, I will also lend him to the Lord as long as he lives. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. And the Lord did not let any of his words fall to the ground. In Proverbs 22, verse 6 and 7 says, To train up a child in the way that they should go, and when they're old, they'll not depart from them. Today, Josh and Rosebud bring Mavi to present her to Miss Bring Mavi to present her to the Lord. And I always like to say that. Responsibility is not just to Josh and to Rose, but all of us as a church family has has responsibility. And as we dedicate Bobby to the Lord, I want to speak to Josh and speak to Rose today. Josh and Rose, you bring Bobby here to dedicate her in Christian dedication. You present her to the Lord. I want you both to know that it's your duty to provide a Christian home for her, a godly environment for her, and to see that she be taught as soon as she can the principles of our holy faith, and that she shall be trained to give reverent attendance upon the public and private worship of God and teaching of the Holy Scripture, and that in every way, by precept and example, you shall seek to lead her in the love of God and in service to the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, your pledge shall be this. In the sight of God and in the presence of this church, do you solemnly undertake to bring Mavi up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord? If so, answer, we do. And do you promise to lead Mavi early to accept Christ as her personal Lord and Savior? If so, answer, we do. And do you promise 
that to the best of your ability, and with the help of God to set before Bobby an example of godly, consistent lives, and so answer, we do. May I have Bobby, please. Not bad, is she? If you would, before we pray, I remind you that Mavi's going to grow up in the Berea Church of God. She's going to watch you. She's going to be taught by you. She's going to watch you worship and see how you act and respond. You have a grave responsibility to live a life in front of her that will not hinder her walk or hinder her development and her service to Christ. So we all have a very grave responsibility. And if you would, would you lift your hand toward Mavi as we pray the prayer of dedication. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bring Mavi to you this morning. And we pray as we dedicate her to Christ. We pray, Father God, that you bless Mavi with health, strength, long life. And whatever you choose to do in her life, Father God, we welcome it. And ask you, Father God, to be glorified in her. And use her for your honor and glory as we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you all very much.